Welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. The new residence inn at the Eastwood Mall Complex in Niles isn't even open yet, but they're already booking guests at the Extended Stay Hotel. The residence inn will welcome its first customers on Thursday, May 29th. We took a sneak peek inside as they worked on the finishing touches and talked about what the future holds for the mall complex. From the minute you walk into this new residence inn at the Eastwood Mall, you're treated to a one-of-a-kind hotel experience. This residence in lobby is a custom designed lobby. We won't walk into another one and see anything like it. The accent walls that have the floral design on them are actually a Dale Chihuly artist that maybe you've seen in Vegas on the ceiling of the Bellagio. On the wall behind the front desk is actually custom made as well. The lobby has little meeting pods that will have soft seating and um, individual TVs so you can plug in your laptop and do a small presentation have a little breakout meeting or just to have a casual um, coffee with a friend. The Extended Stay Hotel also has a number of other unique amenities including this outdoor patio which they'll use to continue that community feel. We have a um, barbecue grill Monday through Thursday when we do our evening social we'll have complimentary barbecues if the weather's nice. We'll have a fire pit here with the soft seating. There's also an indoor pool and hot tub, a workout room that features a flat screen on every cardio machine, and one bedroom, two bedroom, and studio style suites that come fully stocked to help guests feel at home. TMI Hospitality, the owners of the hotel, say it's this type of full service that people, especially business travelers, are looking for. A lot of demand for these, um, with people traveling in and out, especially with workers that are going to be in the area for a long time. Uh, you know, average length of stay can range anywhere from 10 nights on up. TMI Hospitality expects this location to do extremely well, especially once the Banquet Center opens in the summer of 2015. I think that'll be perfect. I mean, really, that's a marriage, and I'm, I'm excited about that. I mean, it's a unique facility, the Mahoning Valley. It really is. I mean, we're talking about the only place where you can walk in, register at the residence in, uh, have a comfortable room for the night, go to your business conference or go to your social event just across the hallway from the lobby, and then if you like, you need Near, only to go through a hallway into the concourse of the mall, maybe go grab a nice dinner at Firebirds, uh, do some browsing, just some people watching in the mall, and it all comes together. You never have to walk outside. And the hotel and banquet center aren't the only new things coming to the Eastwood Mall complex. They're also expecting to make some announcements soon about additional retail and professional developments. In the meantime, the staff at the Residence Inn is ready to welcome you. The hotel is truly something you'll have to see for yourself, and we can't wait to see what's coming next. Well, there's another grand opening on the horizon. A new option for fueling your vehicles is coming to the Valley. A compressed natural gas fueling station will open in Girard this summer. Chelsea Miller takes a look at the new station and how compressed natural gas might benefit people and businesses in the area. The Mr. Fuel Truck Stop on Salt Springs Road in Girard is partnering with IGS CNG Services to offer customers another option. Compressed natural gas or CNG is uh, natural gas, the same natural gas that uh, you use to heat your house with or cook with. Uh, in this case we're pulling it from Dominion East Ohio's utility. We're compressing it with the compressors that you see behind me, storing it in the three storage tubes uh, and then transporting it over to the dispensers. Uh, for folks that are driving uh, CNG vehicles. Right now, there are no public CNG stations in the Valley. Others are planned, but this will be the first one up and running. Dave Morzinski, Program Manager with IGS CNG Services, says the number of stations across Ohio has quadrupled in the last three years. And he says they're predicting as more stations pop up, more CNG vehicles will take to the roads. CNG uh, is growing very rapidly, we believe, and our company um, is planning to be a big part of the, the regional build-out of stations. We're building out a corridor across Ohio and the states that touch Ohio in order to support not only local users here in, in Youngstown, in the case of Mr. Fuel, but also the folks that are uh, traveling across the country with semi-trucks, or you know, it could be something as small as a Honda Civic natural gas vehicle. CNG has a number of benefits over gasoline. It's cheaper with a national average right now of 2.11 a gallon compared to the national average for a gallon of gas which is 365. It runs cleaner emitting less CO2 and nitrous oxide into the atmosphere and it's domestic fuel. 
The downside is it can be expensive to convert a vehicle to CNG and buying one new costs more than a traditional vehicle. Press natural gas does not make sense for every fleet out there, but what we have seen is that there are a lot of businesses or subsets of a business's fleet that compressed natural gas would make a lot of sense. So we're excited to be able to, to be here today to be able to bring this offering to the greater Youngstown area and we certainly encourage anybody in Youngstown uh, that may have a fleet of vehicles that would be interested in seeing if CNG is right for them. We, we'd love to talk to them about that. The Mr. Fuel CNG station is expected to open sometime in June or July. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Chelsea Miller. And finally, it's one of the best kept secrets in the Valley. Who will be named this year's 2014 Athena Award recipient? The big event is just a week away and we can't wait to find out. You can still make reservations for the event at regionalchamber.com. And in the next edition of Take 5, we'll take you to Mr. Anthony's for a behind the scenes look and also sit down with this year's recipient. Until then, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Take 5 and we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.